Hey, how's it going, everyone? Bass here. So we did just receive an update on the two injuries suffered to both linebackers, Chris Barnes and Quay Walker. The leg injury Chris Barnes suffered late in that game. Cart came out. Air Cast was put on that right leg. Looked really bad. And then also the shoulder injury Quay Walker suffered and did not return in this week one loss to the Minnesota Viking. The update was just put out by Matt LaFleur himself, and it was put out in a tweet here by Tom Silverstein, and it states, Packers coach Matt LaFleur said that inside linebacker Chris Barnes avoided a significant injury injury despite being carted off the field yesterday with an air cast on his leg said inside linebacker Quay Walker shoulder injury has a chance to play this week so those are two very positive things when they didn't look good when you see someone go out on a cart especially with an air cast on the right leg you're thinking season ending injury and Chris Barnes is a very solid linebacker honestly this dude could start on I think a, a multiple multitude of teams around the NFL but obviously Quay Walker took his starting spot at number two next to Devondre Campbell. And then also Quay Walker himself, you know, having the chance to play next week in what was a shoulder injury. We were kind of unsure what the significance of that injury was. And after he really played good against the Minnesota Vikings, in my opinion, I thought Quay Walker had a good game. I really liked what I saw from him. Now, he did allow five receptions on five targets, but three of those were against wide receivers, including Justin Jefferson, K.J. Osborne, and Adam Thielen. So I can't really place that fully on him. Other than that, I saw Quay Walker flying around the field, you know, reading and reacting to certain plays very quickly and making solid tackles. Quay played in 38 snaps on the defense before suffering that shoulder injury where he had five stops and only missed one tackle. And like I said, I really liked what I saw from him. So I'm really hoping this is a very small injury and it won't affect him long term. This is great news that it's one day after the game and Matt LaFleur is already saying okay he has a chance to play um, uh, versus Chicago usually if it was anything more than sm a small injury he would pretty much say hey we'll see but it's really good news that he said he has a chance to play this upcoming game Chris Barnes injury was designated as a high ankle sprain so as for him I see that as a multi-week injury but a lot better than what we thought was going to be you know a season ending injury you know, after we see him go out in a cart with air cast, we're all thinking, okay, this guy's going to end up going an IR. And then what was a very solid group of inside linebackers with a lot of depth, you know, suffering two injuries last night really hurts that inside linebacker group. Then you go from having great depth and great talent to having Isaiah McDuffie being a starting linebacker next to Devondre Campbell. And I think Isaiah McDuffie is a good player, and I think he's taken that second-year jump, but I don't know if he's necessarily ready to get thrown right into the defense with that many snaps. So I'm really hoping Quay Walker will be able to play this upcoming week because I don't see Chris Barnes playing this upcoming week. Like I said, I see that as a multi-week uh, injury. They could call up Ray Wilburn off the practice squad. That's something I, I expect them to do, uh, but I still think uh, Isaiah McDuffie would get snaps over him. Now, there hasn't been an exact injury update on Kayshawn Nixon, who we saw come in on that one play, make a really nice tackle, and then walk off holding his shoulder or arm. So we'll see what happens there when the official injury report comes out Wednesday or if they update that before then. John Runyon Jr. also left the game with, a believe, a concussion protocol, and I believe he was cleared to come back in, but they didn't put him back in. I'm not exactly sure on that whole situation, but it seems seems like he should be okay but overall the Packers need to figure out this whole offensive line what they're going to do going forward if we don't get David Bakhtiari and Elton Jenkins back in week two because the way they lined it up out there with Jake Hansen and Royce Newman on the right side I just don't think that can remain the same I think Zach Tom needs to be out there and overall I just think they need to adjust some things but those are the couple injury updates I have for today some really good news on both these inside linebackers really hoping the injury to Quay Walker isn't anything long term it seems like it's maybe a one to two week thing and then as for Chris Barnes a high ankle sprain you're looking at you know three to five to even six weeks on that but uh that's a lot better than what we thought it was going to be but that about does it for this video if you enjoyed this please leave a like down below and also subscribe to the channel if you are new here i put out packers news analysis and updates every single day including injury updates such as this video so if that does interest you go down click that subscribe button but that about does it for this one i'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching and as always go pack go